Hello and welcome to the News from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the outgoing Secretary General of the Gulf Corporation Council, Dr Abdul Latif Al Ziani. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Secretary General for the efforts he exerted throughout his tenure that aimed at developing the work system of the General Secretariat of the Council, achieve its goals and develop the march of joint Gulf work to achieve the aspirations of the Council's countries and people as well as establish the pillars of security, peace and stability at the regional and global levels. His Majesty hailed the pivotal achievements of the GCC Council since its establishment at all levels and wished Alziani success in his new duties in the coming period. For his part, Alziani expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support to the march of the GCC Council that aims to achieve the aspiration of its people, praising the role and contributions of the Kingdom in building on what have been achieved and making further golf gains. The GCC Secretary General also presented a commemorative gift to His Majesty on the occasion. The Court of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced that His Royal Highness will lead a high-level delegation on an official visit to Italy, which is aimed at strengthening Bahraini-Italian ties across various fields. During the visit, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince will meet a number of senior officials from the Italian government. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Asale, chaired the weekly meeting where the Council approved a draft resolution on protection and promotion of competitive law. On the occasion of the 52nd anniversary of establishing the BDF, the Council expressed pride in the achievements of the BDF throughout the years. The Council affirmed the Kingdom's firm stance regarding the Palestinian cause and its support to all efforts that aim to restore the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. The Council then rejected a draft law regarding amending Law 46 of working in the private sector law which aims to ensure that workers receive their dues without any delay. The Minister of Education and President of the Higher Education Council, Majid al Nawemi, in the presence of the President of the Arabian Gulf University, visited the site of the project of the King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Medical City to follow up on the construction process. In the beginning, a presentation on the project was given, after which the Minister and the President of the University toured the city the first phase of which is to be completed in 2022. The project includes an educational hospital made up of 288 patient rooms, 74 clinics, 17 operation rooms, a room for radiology, an emergency room with a helipad and a physiotherapy centre. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's pride in carrying out this project, which he said it embodies the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Minister remembered the initiative of the late King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz to build the medical complex and the initiative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to offer a large plot of land for the project. The Minister said that the project will enhance the services of the University and will benefit the citizens of Bahrain, the Gulf and the region at large. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to improve the services provided to citizens within the framework of joint municipal projects in various regions of the Kingdom, the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, conducted an inspection visit to Blocks 245 and 243 in Arid as part of the seventh boundaries of Maharik Governorate in the presence of the two constituencies parliamentary and municipal councils members. The Minister directed to speed up the final stages of designing the project to develop Road 46 in Block 243 in Arid provide low sidewalks and parking lots in available spaces, build a network for rainwater drain reach, place traffic signs for traffic safety and repave the roads of the eastern part of the block. Delegated by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rash bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of the King of Bahrain to the USA, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Boston Police Commissioner, William Gross, signed a MOU focusing on cooperation and exchange of experiences in the field of forensic evidence between the Ministry of Interior of Bahrain and the Boston Police as part of the distinguished relations between the Kingdom and the USA and a common concern to enhance cooperation in defence and security fields. 
The MOU also includes cooperation on combating terrorism and transnational crimes, as well as exchanging best practices, providing training and capacity development, and exchanging information. On this occasion, the Ambassador hailed the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the USA in the context of a common commitment to maintain international peace and security. He also noted the importance of continuing to strengthen security cooperation and coordination and exchange of experiences in the line with developments, contributing to developing capabilities and increasing the effectiveness of security agencies in facing challenges. The Ambassador also emphasised the signing of the MOU reflects the keenness of the two friendly countries to move forward in enhancing cooperation and joint coordination in the security fields and contribute to combating all forms of crimes. The signing of the MOU was in the presence of the security attaché at the Embassy of Bahrain to the USA, Captain Hamid Khalil al -Mir. The Bahrain National Charter Monument is an edifice for Bahraini identity and an honouring for the greatest national achievements in an architectural masterpiece that remind the people of Bahrain of what unites them. The Bahrain National Charter Monument is a symbol of growth and prosperity in Bahrain that was established to create a constitutional, institutional and modern Bahrain governed by just law, which allowed for many freedoms that included all its aspects that organize Bahraini citizens' lives. The National Action Charter is the most prominent political document in the history of Bahrain that has been agreed upon by the people of Bahrain in December 2000 and have planned the paths of the ambitious national action in its present and future. The historic referendum held in February 14, 2001 demonstrated the people's consensus with a percentage of 98.4% affirming that the Charter has reached the peak of democratic development in Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa asserted that the National Action Charter is considered a breakthrough in the history of Bahrain as it laid the building blocks of His Majesty's reform project and the remarkable development that accompanied it for which the people of Bahrain contributed in various fields. The Capital Municipal Council, in cooperation with the Bahrain Association for Parents and Friends of the Disabled, organized a tree planting and drawing event in Salmania Park today aiming to protect the environment and enrol people with determination in the process. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. With an educational and environmental activities under the umbrella of the Capital Municipal Council's campaign, My Beautiful Capital, to preserve and beautify the environment, a large number of people of determination took part today in decorating the Salmania Garden with planting and painting, in cooperation with Bahrain Association for Parents and Friends of the Disabled. The aim to have this event in particularly in this park because the society they have a center within this park so we aim to enroll and encourage the special needs people to be part of this lovely activity to plant to plant the plants within themselves carrying their names and, and are they are going to take care of, of these plants in the future by themselves it's very important to en en enroll them and engage them in all of the society activity that will really give a positive vibes and impacts definitely to the quality of their life. Such activities enable people of determination to play a key role in the development process, gain self-confidence and be active members of the society, moreover increase green spaces. Today, actually, when you see their faces, they are so happy and planting trees that give them the, the feeling that there is something alive they can do. Like, for example, sometimes they feel that they feel the difference between between them and the other kids. So when they do such activity, they think they feel that it's OK. We are here and we can do more. The event was attended by parents of people of determination. Deputy Governor of the capital, Hassan al Madani. President and members of the Municipal Council and MP Adil al Asumi. It comes in line with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, which pledges to leave no one behind. Enrolling our heroes with special needs and planting trees doesn't only expand green spaces, it plants hope and purpose in their hearts. And sharing with them a painting and drawing activity doesn't only produce pieces of art, it draws smiles on their faces to be remembered forever. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International.